On this episode of Showtime, we look at in-ceiling speakers for your home theatre. There's nothing better than kicking back and watching a movie in your own home theatre. But for us, we only had a limited amount of space to work with, and we still wanted the great surround sound experience at home. So that's why we opted for in-ceiling speakers. That way we could get the great surround sound without the unsightly cables and speakers hanging from the wall. And hopefully this video will help you at home do the same. So the first step with this project is measure, measure, measure. You have to plot out where you're gonna put your four speakers on your ceiling and then measure from each side of the corner to try and pick a center point. Now that center point is gonna be smack bang in the middle of your speaker template and you're gonna cut around it so uh, your hole is in the right spot. Now then jump up into the roof and just make sure you know where the gas and data cables are and electrical cables and make sure you're not gonna slice through them when you start cutting and if need be have a friend up there to look out for you. Now, uh, these are the Digitech speakers I'm unboxing now, and you can see each speaker comes in its own uh, self-contained little box, and then you've got uh, some instructions and also your most important tool, which I found, which was the speaker uh, cutout template. Um, this is excellent. So you grab one of those and pop it up. Um, so the hole is, this, the hole in the center, sorry, is just kind of in between those two center markers. So it's smack bang in the middle. Then you're gonna start tracing around the outside of it and you can get started with your um, hand saw. Now, this saw is a fantastic tool. I can't imagine doing it with really anything else, but you just kind of put it up there and then you smash through it with the butt of your hand and start sawing. Now, I run into some problems pretty much instantly because I had forgotten that there was a metal um, aluminum bar that runs just behind uh, that, that piece of plaster. And I was hitting it and wondering why I couldn't get any further. And I go, oh, that's right, it's the metal bar. So I just switch directions and started cutting around the other way and finished that cut off. Now, be be nice to me, this was our first attempt and this is probably, uh, if you're a plasterer or a jip rocker, you probably, or well, you wouldn't be watching this video, but if you were, you'd be horrified. But um, this was the best I did for my first attempt. Uh, and then my friend Shane there, he's uh, cutting through that piece of metal that was giving me trouble um, with his angle grinder uh, to get it out of the way. And, um, and surprisingly, you can feel the tension on the cables when you, when you hit them, like the data cables you can see there. I felt them with the saw and I just, um, you can kind of maneuver the blade around to make sure you're not gonna slice through them. You can kind of feel it. Um, so the next step was to measure and uh, center, or oh, and level now, because it's a square, um, uh, square speaker, the center speaker for the 5.1 surround sound. So we've got the four speakers on the ceiling and then the center speaker um, in the middle, just below the television. And that, of course, is where all your vocals come from. Uh, if you're watching something which is you know, mixed by Dolby or DTS or something, they always mix them to have the vocals coming out of the, the front so it feels natural when you're watching the TV. Um, so cutting around there, and you can see I did a, a much better job. This was my fifth fifth speaker of the last one, so I kind of knew what I was doing by now and uh, and just punching it out there. Now this, uh, I was very nervous cutting through the wall of my brand new house, but... Um, my friend who was with me, he does this all the time and he said, no, that's what it's meant to look like and don't be afraid. And he said, tip is you can chuck that piece of uh, plaster in a bag and keep it in your roof. And then if you ever need to patch the, the wall, you can just use that piece again. Uh, the next step was to use push-pull rods to uh, they're basically fiberglass rods, which screw together to, to push the cables through from the holes all the way around um, and out into the wardrobe, which is where we push the cables through. And that's where we're gonna hide our amplifier. And of course we labeled every cable so we knew which one was left speaker and the right speaker. So I'm just unboxing the actual speakers now. Now these are bought from JCAR Electronics if you live in Australia. If you're overseas, I'm sure you can find something similar. These aren't really a huge brand name. These are hundred bucks a pair. Um, they're eight inch polymer cones, 25 mil silk domes. They got a swivel tweeter mount. Uh, they're rated for 40 watt RMS and a frequency range of 120 hertz to 18 kilohertz. And if that means something to you, that's great. It meant nothing to me. I'm not an audiophile. Um, I couldn't really hear the difference between the $100 set of speakers and the $800 set of speakers from Bose uh, when I listened to them in the store. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll save myself the cash and go with the cheaper ones. Now here we're just uh, obviously pushing the cables through into the speakers. Uh, there's a picture there then of my mate just uh, hooking up the, the XLR connector for the subwoofer that goes on the wall plate. And now I'm just placing the speaker up into the ceiling um, and I'm gonna get the electric screwdriver now 
and uh, screw the, the, there's actually got screws built in um, to the speakers. And as you uh, screw them or wind them down, a little foot comes out and clamps the speaker uh, to the plaster up inside the ceiling. So uh, it's all hidden and flush. You don't really see any other screws um, from the speaker from the front of it. It's all hidden away in the ceiling and looks great. Now, just be careful when you're doing this. Don't screw too much or you'll thread the connectors um, and you'll be stuffed. So make sure you just do uh, a little bit at a time until it feels like it's snug and then just leave it because it's not going to fall out on you. Um, It's pretty much in there. And that's it. So I uh, tilted the the tweeter to the listening position or where, where where I sit on the lounge. And then I just applied the grill, which comes with the speaker. And that sits in there nicely. And that's it. All done. So there you go. That's how you install ceiling speakers, a center speaker. Um, and didn't show the subwoofer because it's different for everybody. But that's uh, what it looks like. And that's where the amp is on the right-hand side. We've hidden it in the cupboard so it's all out of the way. And that is it. All finished. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.